Hi, everyone. It's Vash here, as you can read by the title. This is Shadows of the Damned. Um, surprise, this is a uh, literally a playthrough that I plan like in five minutes, like when I decided to do something special for October. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, it is early in the morning. <laughs> no, it's not early in the morning. It's like one o'clock, but usually I'm not recording at this time just trying to get it done early uh... so i want to do something special for october uh, i wanted to play a horror based game this game isn't really all that scary but it is a damn good game um, if anybody played alan wake last year uh... alan wake was like one of the best suspenseful horror games of two thousand ten but it didn't sell well don't know why same thing with this game this game is, is great amazing game uh, brought to you by Shinji Mikami which is the guy that created Resident Evil <coughs> the good Resident Evils <coughs> you know stuff before 4 and 5 and created by Suda51 uh, he created No More Heroes so you can expect it to be extremely perverted and out of like you know out of proportion and everything so horror and dick jokes we are about to have some fun so let's do it Let's jump right in this in this bitch. Yeah, I never fixed that problem. My screen still fucking flickers. It's annoying. Uh, it's funny that I'm explaining something. There you go, bam. I'm explaining something that doesn't happen. <laughs> well, in in a in a in a little secret project I'm working on I was complaining about how my HD PVR for some reason gives me static on the screen um, but the recording is fine and it's just little things I literally spend like 45 minutes while I'm playing that other playthrough complaining about how the static is bugging the shit out of me <laughs> sorry shadows of the Dan baby the only thing I'm a little worried about is the fact that since this game is so dark that it might be a little difficult to record it because mm, the format I render out in ends up making your videos darker than usual um, so that's what I'm a little afraid of that no one could be able to see but I'm sure I can you know, try my best to figure it out or I can up the brightness oh I can just do this yeah put that all the way up oh I forgot to turn down my speakers um, yeah, because it would have started echoing. Uh, we'll leave all of this normal. Hopefully, that upping that brightness up will, you know, allow you to be able to see. Because the recording's perfectly fine, it's just when... It's just when you, uh, when I render it out, it comes out darker than usual. Oh, it's showing this part of you. We can skip this. Or not. Never mind. This is a great game. I love this fucking game. I remember I called up uh, at my local store. I don't I don't go to GameStop. I fucking hate GameStop. Um, and I was like, oh, what came out today? And he was like, oh, Shadows of the Damned. Um, he goes, it's getting really good reviews, but no one's really buying it. Uh, it's, it's created by Shinji Mikami and Suda51. I was like... I'll be right there, because <laughs> they've never let me down before with games. I love No More Heroes and Killer7, which is another game by Suda51, by the way. Threat shall be. One at a time, we shall 
seize the treasures of your life as spoils and leave only emptiness and despair. My last gifts to you. <laughs> Just don't forget to wrap them. Put a claws. He said dick claws in Spanish. Hotspur. How is your dear sweet Paul? Is she hanging in there? <laughs> Fuck you! Damn. Speaking of which, today is such a beautiful day. It is raining like crazy. It's all dark and gloomy. Just how I love it. Just sucks that I can't go out and enjoy the rain right now. Because I'm busy. <laughs> so, uh, anybody, if you're asking if this is a good game to play, yes. Very, very good game. Um, the only problem that... Well, I'm not even going to say because it, it might ruin some of the game, but... if Unless you're a really big fan of Suda51's games, like if you really love the No More Heroes and Killer7 and all that, fuck the price, just go buy it, like I did, just go buy it as soon as you can. Other people, if you're a little hesitant, um, I say once it gets to around 40 or $30, jump right on it. This game is worth every penny, just play it. Rent it, you just have to play this game, this is a really fun, what the fuck? This is a really, really fun game. I enjoyed it. This is one of the few games that I actually can play longer than an hour at a time. I was playing it for like six. <laughs> um, if I've explained many times before that um, I can't play the same game longer than an hour or an hour and 15 minutes because I I don't know if I get bored or I, I don't know I just I play something else or I get up and do something but I can't really sit in one spot for that long. There's only a few games that I can actually sit for a long time. So far it's Infamous 1 and 2, this game, Fallout, Oblivion, not too many games, but usually, like Rage, for example, I got Rage on Tuesday, I played that for like an hour and 40 minutes, and I haven't even played it since, that was like two days ago, that bitch is dead, but uh, I actually think we'll, I think I'll play Rage after I finish recording this. She got lynched. Oh, that's just nasty. Yeah, that's that's just gross. <laughs> Bitch! <laughs> uh, one other thing I have a problem with, it's a little hard to aim in this game. And honestly, I blame the PS3 thumbsticks. Because I don't know, for some reason, it's just, they're really loose. There's not enough tension, and I... I can't do it. But, whatever. You get used to it over time. You know, technically, later on in the game, I don't even go for headshots anymore. I just shoot him in the fucking ankles. Bitch. Shoot him in the ankles and then stomp him out. I have a feeling something's behind me. Oh, not yet. Damn, they fucking up my apartment. Bitches. Speaking of Suda51, his next big game that's coming out is Lollipop Chainsaw. I think it's scheduled for release beginning of 2012. I put up a PAX playthrough of the demo um, not too long ago, which reminds me I still need to put up all the other PAX shit. Fuck, I keep forgetting. Um, I guess I'll get to work on that soon. Wretch! <laughs> like, picking off roaches. Um, I still have like, what's that game? I literally have maybe like three more demos to upload from PAX that I got to play. Hey, get your hands off my worming! Off my worming! Yeah. Go back up. That's that gay shit that be happening on uh, Resident Evil 4, like when you bust somebody's head off and they still somehow miraculously slam you. Oh, motherfucker! Yeah. I'm coming, Paula, my, my baby. Oh, that's... That hole in her back isn't gonna heal up too well. Well, here's co-starring Fleming, the Lord of Demons. So he's supposed to be the king of the underworld. Like, he's Satan practically in this game. 